My name is Chris Clark. I'm the Assistant Director of the Canev Center for Teaching and Learning at the University of Notre Dame. I help faculty members incorporate technology into their teaching by consulting with them about effective strategies. We help them match those strategies with tools that can make learning more effective and efficient. One of the ways technology can help is by making it easy for faculty and students to work with media other than text. Reading and writing are important ways to communicate, but messages in today's world are increasingly presented with images and video. Our students should know how to read, write, and analyze other media just as they do with text. Professors have typically spent their careers working with text and numbers on a printed page. They may not know what kinds of work students can do with media. They may not have experience working with images or video, and they might not know where to start if they had to evaluate student media. For all those reasons, the Canev Center has developed the Remix website. It provides a gallery of project ideas and a bank of suggested tools, as well as a process for developing media-rich assignments and evaluating student work. The project gallery lists more than two dozen ideas for assignments that feature images, sound, or video. Each project page includes examples of one kind of media assignment, along with resources to help faculty members create their own version. The tool page shows nearly 30 recommended tools, most of which are free or low cost. The Build tab shows a three-stage process for creating new assignments, beginning with setting learning goals. To help evaluate students' work, the site encourages faculty members to create a rubric and provides examples. The third stage of the process is to create a list of steps or milestones that students will need to reach as they create their media-rich assignment. Faculty members have already begun to use the site. One example is Professor Sabrina Ferry's MAP project. We at the Canem Center look forward to meeting with faculty and considering how one of these projects might be incorporated into a course.